Okay, so this is actually a Wormuth uh, guitar body and neck. Bought it in 1997. Um, I had to cut the headstock myself because Wormuth would not. I bought the tuners and put them in. Headstock shapes, not perfect. I kind of eyeballed it off of a friend who had a real Ernie Ball, Eddie Van Halen model, <laughs> did the best I could. I was going to stain it amber, and it's not a pretty top. It's just a hunk of wood. But I put it together on a Friday night, and then I couldn't wait. Played it at a gig the next night, and that was over 20 years ago, and there's never been any finish put anywhere on the guitar. Um, it's got a... This is off of a Fernandez. It's one of the uh, FRT4 with the vertical well tail. They were only around for just a little while. I put it on here because, well, I like it. It's neat. Seymour Duncan Trembucker, a DiMaggio, I guess. I don't remember. Um, and, of course, I drilled all the switches. One of the things, since there never was any finish on the guitar, is there's my fingers created these divots over the years. Um, so it's kind of like a solid body equivalent of <laughs> Willie Nelson's guitar. If this, I would have actually worn through a, um, an acoustic top if I would have done this. My pinky fingernail has dug out this huge divot by the, uh, the volume knob. Um, the little blue circle here, just um, uh, it's filling a hole that used to be a fine adjustment for a theremin that used to be in the guitar. And up here were uh, two holes where there was a on-off switch for the theremin, so it would cut in the theremin and cut out the guitar, and then a stutter uh, for the theremin, so you could go type noises. It's really great when we were covering like um, Rage Against the Machine or something like that. On the back here, um, you can see the tuners and then the uh, the old school um, Schaller Allen wrench holder, which I had in a, a bunch of those, and that was a nice find. Uh, man, those things are handy to keep on hand. So um, there's the un am now empty hole uh, for the uh, the old theremin controls that are no more. One thing I did do on this guitar that I don't see a lot um, is I countersunk the neck plate, and I don't remember why I did it. I just did it. I don't know if it really does anything or not. And there's the hole for the three-way switch. The theremin circuit board used to go in there. There was another fine tuner um, on the back of the circuit board that you could access with a little tiny plastic screwdriver. Um, that, that's pretty cut and dry in there. Um, one thing I did recently was I got tired of the output jack getting loose and falling out no matter what I did. And I've been battling this for 20 years. So I just bought one of these and put it in there. And problem solved. Um, let's see, back over here, um, this is an old Long Hollow Leather Company leather strap. Man, I can't say enough good things about these straps. This thing is 20 years old, and it's just great, so I love it. It doesn't get bound up on my shirt or anything like that. Um, and of course, you know, this trick, we all know where that came from. Um, the other thing is, is on, one thing I was running into as I got older is I got, it's starting to get harder with my eyesight to actually see what I'm doing, and I'm not a good enough player to, uh, feel everything with my fingers <laughs> so what i did is, is this is um i think it's duck it's actual reflective tape from like ducts like air ducts or something but anyways i put it on there and uh even in low light it kind of picks uh, picks up light so it's a bit cheaper than inlaying you know cubic zirconiums or leds in your light so anyways um so that's it um that's the guitar